Uh, so I just wanted to make this video real quick because I, I, I'm sure I gave Connor the wrong information and I, I told him I'd go back and look at it. I finally got the time to do that. I told him that if you have a repeated linear factor, since this itself is quadratic, um, you need to have a, a, uh, a linear factor up here, one degree less. And that's incorrect. If it's a, lead, it's a repeated linear factor, it's linear, we need a constant factor up here. Okay, we can do this work and it will, it will come out, we'll find out what A, B, and C are. Why exactly you wouldn't put C, X plus D? I think, you know, sometimes I, I can explain it to the point that we can get it done um, and there are just some things that get left unexplained. I don't like that and I'm working on a better explanation, but here's what I have so far. Um, I, I don't think that you couldn't put CX plus D, but look what happens when you do. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say in the end is we leave it a linear factor because we want to, or it's not a linear, a constant factor because uh, that's what we want to do. We want to leave this as a constant number. Because look what happens if we do try and let this be CX plus D. Okay, so I just did all the work beforehand. I uh, multiplied through by um, X times X plus one squared. You know, that cancel the X leaves this, so you, you know all this. I collected together the coefficient of X squared, coefficient of X, and the constant. What happens is we create an unsolvable uh, system of equations. Um, even though a is 6, and it seems like it's going to make our world easier, we get 6 plus b plus c equals 5, and uh, 12 plus b plus d equals 20. But now look what we have. We have a system of two equations, but three variables. It's just undoable. Um, so I guess what you, you could think of it as is like this. If I wanted to get uh, you know, like a 5 over 12, I could write that in lots of different ways. Um, you know, I can write it as the sum of lots of different fr uh, um, fractions. I could do a over uh, 3 plus b over uh, mm, I guess 12, um, and and that would do it. I could figure out an a and a b. I could also do uh, 5 over 12 is equal to a over uh, 6 plus b over 12, and, and that is possible. I, I could factor it all out, so it's uh, uh, 5 over 12 equals uh, a over, um, let's just go with 2 plus a over 3 plus a over 4 plus a over, sorry, I'm going to rewrite these as b, c, d, plus um, e over 12, um, right? So there's lots of different ways to write this out. And it, of course, we would want uh, this the, these numerators to be constants. We wouldn't want to complicate the numerators. We would ideally want these to be constants. Of course, there's no way to figure out what A, B, C, and C, D, and E have to be. They could be anything, right? I think that's kind of the case we're looking at here. C and D could be so many different things that it becomes unsolvable. You can't nail it down. Okay, So that's my best answer, is that if we do let this be a linear factor, it just it makes it unsolvable. Uh, it makes it... Um, so that there is no one definite answer, I suppose, right? As long as, in this case, b is equal to um, negative 1 minus c, uh, we have solutions, right? As long as b is whatever c is, you take uh, negative 1 minus c, and that's what b is. And so maybe you're just like, you can throw c's in there. Um, I really, I don't have, a, like I said, a good explanation. Uh, but if we leave it as just C, like we did back here, then our system of equations that we set up, if you choose to solve it that way, um, becomes possible to solve, um, becomes a very finite number of answers. Um, so 
it's easy enough to remember. At least we, we can be functional if you have linear factors, right? If it's not actually an x squared in the factor, um, it's just a repeated linear factor, then just use a constant. Uh, if it's an actual quadratic, an irreducible quadratic factor, uh, like x squared uh, plus 1, you can't factor that anymore, then in that case, you'd have to have cx plus d. All right, so let me know if you have anything to say about that, any more questions to ask. Uh, but I did not like my explanation, um, or I didn't like that I had given Connor the wrong information, and I, I, uh, I printed all three fixed it. So, thanks for watching.